Okay, I'm going to go over this 1966 Impala Super Sport. I'm adding these gauges. These are out of a 66 Capri, but it is an option you can have on putting these put in the Impalas. And I understand you have to have get some uh, lower dash bumpers, which I don't have. And there's a section missing up top here, which goes where the uh, <clears throat> the um, the slide controls go, and I'm aware of that too, which is why I got this at a good price. So I'm going to fabricate the rest of this, and then fabricate it going in. But it's going to look just it's going to look nice. But I want to go over. But before I go getting into all the fabrication, I want to make sure all these gauges were working. And I wish someone had had something like this for me when I was doing this because this took me a long time to figure all this out. So let's start with the first gauge up top. It's the battery, the battery one. And when I say battery, that's not, you know, taking a meter across the battery reading 12 volts. This is in series and it's reading amps. So first thing you have to do is well, if you have the original harness, the uh, harness for these, um, and you have the original alternator, you should be good. So I'll go over some of the things that got me. This alternator was changed out, so my harness on the inside the cabin did not have the wires I needed. So let me show you how to, uh, how to do that. <clears throat> I'll do under the hood and then I'll go in the car how we set up in there. Right in here on this plus I had to run uh, a wire onto this and I, and I just ran it up into this and into the into the uh, firewall. And then the other I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put my, put my light on up here should help it out. So that was one end of the wire. The other end I took off over here off the battery and I used this pigtail off the battery and it runs down into this junction right in here and I tapped in right there on that junction and then ran the red wire up under the fender, ran it over there and into the firewall into the cabin so that's one side of one side of the meter the other side of the meter was coming off of here okay so that's the amp meter so you got those both those wires in the cabin all right let's move on to the next manifold basically that works off of suction it's pretty easy um, right on the back of this Right here, right there, you're going to hook up a rubber tube. It's just going to go right onto that. And you're going to pick that off of your carburetor or your manifold somewhere. Now, on mine, I was able to pick it off of right. Mine's an Edelbrock. So the Edelbrock, <clears throat> I was able to pick it off right here, use this. Right now it's just capped off because I don't want it to leak. So if you take it off, that's the one I used. And here's the tube. There's the tube right there. And technically that tube is just going to go right on there and then hook it up on the inside, back of the gauge, you're good to go. So that's cut and dry, that's pretty easy. And. Uh, <clears throat> hook this back up so I don't have an air leak because I'm not ready to I'm not ready to install all these just yet all right so that was that what's the next one all right that was the manifold temperature all right let's talk about the temperature mine <clears throat> mine temperature is right here this guy right here This guy right here, that's your temperature reading. Now, the one I had on there originally was two blades for dummy lights. Um, one blade for red light, hot. One blade for green light, cold. So I had to take that uh, switch unit out and put this one in. This is a TU5, I believe. You can get that at uh, AutoZone. 
it does work but you only need one wire to it so once you get it in don't use Teflon tape when you put it in there because you're going to need a good ground on this jacket because that's how you complete the circuit now here is here's the two the two wires that normally went on there here's my dark green and the light green <clears throat> I made a little jumper right here goes into the dark green only see how I did that there's a little spade and it goes right in slides right in to the dark green slides right in beautiful and then it slides on that and that wire is already in the harness so you don't have to run a new wire runs up in the harness and through there into the cabin all right what do we have next um, what do we have last uh, oh oil oil pressure that is way back here it's one of these little plastic jobs see this little plastic guy this little plastic right here And it rolls down so there it is back there and that screws right in screws right into that spot right there screws in and then I ran the plastic uh, the plastic with the oil through the firewall here same spot I ran the tubing for the manifold same one all right so that's everything on the outside everything on the outside so now Let's see what everything on the inside looks like. <clears throat> Alrighty. Okay. Now, here is here's the wire, the skinny wire for the oil. I got it cap capped off right now with a pair of uh, pedal chairing locks. And here's the fatter tube that goes into the manifold. So those two are done. That's pretty cut and dry. The other one is the temperature. That's this one that has the funky end on it. The pink wire is going to be your 12 volt from your ignition. And there's that green wire right there, the dark green wire. The one I told you about underneath the hood, I made that little connector for. That's this one. So that's uh, that's for this right here. So 12 volts for that, and then the green wire for your temperature unit is going to be on that. And then you'll need to ground this to the clusters. It's important that you ground these clusters. And what do we have left? The let me see. That was the oil, the suction manifold. That was the temperature and. What am I missing? Oh, the amp gauge, the amperage. Here's the one I, here's the red wire. I ran this over to uh, buy the battery. And this other one, the black one, is coming off the plus on the alternator. So, and then these go right on the back of that gauge. And they all do work. They work very well. So, I wish somebody had done something like this. Now, this is the, this is the, this is the, um, this is the uh, the harness I was telling you about, the wire harness. I didn't have to make any modifications to it. Um, I had to change just about every one of these bulbs. But you won't light up until these metal things go in the side of the casing. And that grounds it out and lights the bulb up. So that will work. So the reason why it's not in the dash right now is because I'm modifying, I'm modifying the... Uh, the holder where it, where it gloves underneath the where it gloves underneath the here it's just it's going to look really nice it's going to look really slick so I'm taking my time and going to do a nice job with it so if you got any questions anything um, email me send it to me if you're in this project or attempting to do this project I would strongly strongly watch this video and just get a handle on what is going to be in store for you um, but if your alternator if your alternator is the original alternator you may not have to run an extra wire don't know what kind of temperature signal uh, you're going to have on there 
but it's not that hard. It really is. And I'll help you out. I, I surely will help you out. If you contact me, I'll help you out all, all the way. If you want to even call me on the phone. And uh, so I'm going to get this, get this up there and get these up there for you YouTube guys. And I'm excited. This thing's going to work nice and it's going to look sweet. All right. Um, YouTube out.